Hey everybody, this is Hale. It's been a while since I did a Minecraft video, and a part of the reason for that was when I upgraded my operating system to Windows 7 to get the 64-bit address space, I seem to have overwritten my uh, Minecraft save files. Um, so anyway, I started over, so rather than kind of doing a gameplay, I thought I'd just do a quick update, because I have been playing off and on, uh, as time permits, actually when I'm rendering or uploading and I can't really play another game because it slows down my computer, uh, I typically play a little Minecraft. So I thought I'd do a little uh, status video as to where I'm at. So this is the house that I built. This is the second floor. So I figured out how to make a bed. And then I have a furnace here and a little chest with all sorts of goodies in it. I figured out how to use trap doors and ladders. And as you can see, this is in a snowy section. I have a little skylight on the window. And over here, you can kind of see I built a perimeter wall, kind of more organized than the first one that I did. So I have a perimeter wall around. I have a uh, cow pen down there. Uh, as you can see, this is kind of like a snowy environment, and then across the river or whatever is a desert environment. Those are cactuses over there. Hopefully mm -hmm. I'm not looking at an enderman, otherwise you'll get to watch him chase me around. Mm -hmm. So anyway, you can see cactuses. I planted some sugar cane over there on the edge of the water. Uh, so anyway, so I do have a little cow pen here. The area has started out with cows, so I have a fair number of those. Um, also, uh, found potatoes. So, let's go back down. And, as I said, I figured out how to use trap doors and ladders. Although, getting down the ladder sometimes is a little bit fiddly, right? Right? There we go. So, let's go look around outside. So, it's night right now. But the area is fairly secure. So I have the uh, wheat growing right here. Um, I did find mm -hmm. out that if you irrigate the wheat... Here, let's move so you can't hear the rain. Mm -hmm. no, I that. Let's go over here. Okay, so if you irrigate mm -hmm. the wheat, then it grows faster. But I guess wheat will grow mm -hmm. pretty much anywhere. So all you have to do is hit the ground with a mm -hmm. hoe. And then mm -hmm. off you go. So as you can see, I made the second floor bigger than the first floor. This is what I built immediately to keep from getting ganked. So mm. it's, you know, kind of small. Uh, so I planted some more wheat over here. So I have kind of some here, there, and everywhere. I also found mm. a village nearby, which I never mm. found in the first one. And they had mm. potatoes. Uh, and then carrots, uh, watermelon, and mm. all sorts, of, and pumpkins. So actually, those are potato plants. Mm -hmm. These are carrots, none of which are ready. Oh, and here's a watermelon. So I found out that you have to plant the plant, so to speak, and then next to it will spawn a watermelon or a pumpkin. I think this is my pumpkin plant, which I accidentally hit when I was harvesting. Or no, that's a watermelon. I think that's a pumpkin. Anyway, so I accidentally hit that, so that's growing from seed again. So, as I said, I have this per perimeter wall, and I kind of was a bit more organized. So I have kind of this little walkway around it, so you can actually kind of man the battlements, as it were. Although, typically, if I was going to fight anybody, I'd probably just climb on the wall itself. So here's another section, kind of a second section that I walled off. Uh, the snow is really nice. Very nice effect. Uh, second section that I walled off around here, and I started putting the foundation for another building here. Uh, I'm using these like little half plugs just for something different, uh, but I haven't really gotten too far with it. I've been doing other stuff. So as you can see, it walls off a significant area. Getting all the stone is a little, you know, once you're not delving deeply and greedily as it were, you know, getting all the stone is kind of a little challenging. Mm -hmm. So anyway, out here... I shall defend myself with these shears if I'm attacked. I put some flowers here. So I made a pen out here, just for grins. Oops. And this uses the stone walls that uh, I think one of the recent patches introduced. Found some pigs nearby, so I had to get carrots to lure the pigs in. So pigs now like carrots. And then I also got some sheep along with the ride. And then you can use the shears on them. 
No. That's a cow. Cow wandered in when I was har uh, wrestling sheep. So I have a cow here. I haven't gotten around to killing it yet. So, anyway, you can't jump over here. So, let's go in here. So here's the river that is near me. And I was playing around... My bad, guys. Okay. Uh, I was playing around with uh, making a little boat. So I got a bucket and uh, got some of the water sources and put them in here. I guess if you put two water sources one space away from each other, then the space in between turns into water. Otherwise, you get these flows. So I kind of played around with this and haven't really taken it much further you know, as far as making the boat goes. I did uh, start building like this glass thing. I'll show you the underside. Uh, building like a little glass area underneath just for the heck of it when the sun's coming up. So we can do that next. And I also found out that if you get a shovel, you can harvest snow and get snowballs, uh, which you can use to make snow golems, I guess. Mm. I haven't gotten that far. Although I have a pumpkin now, so I guess I can... Maybe I'll plant mm. some more pumpkin, uh, pumpkin plants and make some snow golems just for company. Mm. So I've been digging a little bit more methodically rather than here, or there, and everywhere. So I kind of dig this out as I need stone. So this goes down several, several uh, levels. So right here, and you can see sandstone right here, uh, which I have some. So I've kind of been digging this out a little more haphazardly. And you can kind of, this is the underside of the glassed in section. Uh, working with the glass is kind of hard underwater. Uh, so I've been kind of figuring it out as I go. So it's kind of an organic creation where I just put glass you know, where it needs to go. Um, so I fool around with that every so often. So I thought that was kind of neat. So this is all underwater here. Uh, every so often a squid swims by and stuff like that. It's interesting though that if you put a piece of glass out here, for some reason it seems to... Oh, there's a squid. See a squid? I just squid it away. There it is. Uh, it seems to like do a flow or something like that. I'm not entirely sure, but anyway, so you can kind of see it right there. And then I dug down oh, a little bit of a little bit of lag. So I dug down far enough, and I actually, which I never found the first time, found an abandoned mine, which is pretty cool. So here's another room. So I have a couple chests down here. All sorts of stuff. This is track from the mine. Uh, found a diamond and all sorts of stuff down there. I have stuff all over the place in chests. And then this is the entrance to the mine. I have explored a fair amount of it. Uh, there's a lot I haven't. But you know, this place is pretty darn big and it's twisty and stuff like that. So. Anyway, I, I ripped up a lot of the track because I figure I can use that, but there's still a lot here. And you can see the part with the torches are the parts that I've, uh, you know, kind of gone through and tamed. I also found monster generators, which I didn't see in my first game, which are cool. I'll see if I can find one of those without undue trouble. Here's one right here. So my understanding, and I actually don't have a sword with me. I have these clippers that I'll defend myself with. So this is a skeleton generator. My understanding is that you can uh, disarm it by putting torches all around it and raising the light level high enough. So that is what I've done. So I, I also found cave spiders, and I can tell you that cave spiders suck. Um, they poison you, and the poison does a lot of damage. And you can just see that there are passages everywhere. And I've done some... Uh, there's lava flows and there's water flows, so I've uh, done some work kind of walling them off so there's not lava everywhere and then uh, a lot of coal and iron down here so I've been mining that also uh, I guess that skeleton one I showed you was in a little dungeon so it had a couple chests and I found the occasional chest uh, and that goes up there uh, around here where uh, you know just in the mine so I typically pick the chests up because you know might as well use that instead of building my own but you can kind of see how big this place is. I think it intersects. I don't think I'll be able to find it because I don't really have this place mapped out. What the heck is that up there? That's just gravel. Um, this intersects. I hear a skeleton around here somewhere. 
So, for example, this is a part I haven't tamed yet. There's probably skeletons, all sorts of baddies down there. So, I think this intersects with a natural ravine uh, at some point. And I've actually fallen it down to kind of a flooded cavern and all sorts of cool stuff. So, I've been spending a lot of time in here. Uh, kind of clearing the area out, finding the monster generators, being chased by cave spiders, and all sorts of fun things. There's probably hundreds and hundreds of torches down here. Yeah, this is the uh, this is the flooded cavern. Uh, that's a little thing I made to get some iron. So, as you can see, there were, there was like skeletons and stuff like that. But this is you know just a flooded area. So it's kind of neat. All sorts of terrain features in here. So you have these uh, these are actually fences. Uh, and all sorts of stuff. A lot of cobwebs. I guess a sword is good for getting rid of those, but, you know, it does, uh, does, uh, wear down your sword pretty quickly. There's nothing in there. Yeah, this is the dead end. So there's a lot of dead ends, you know, once you put the lights in there and stuff like that. So let me see if I can find my way out of here without undo screwing around. So I know you can make a map here. I haven't yet, so that might be on my to-do list to kind of make a map and see if that helps with navigation. So it's around here somewhere. So I think there's monsters on the other side of this wall I haven't dealt with yet, so I'm not going to do that now. Oh, I'm stuck in a spider web. So let me find okay, my way out of finally here. out of the mine. And uh, retrace my steps a couple times. So let's go on a little journey. So this is the, uh, as I said, where the sheep and the uh, the pigs are right now. This is the outside of the wall here. Let's go on a quick little journey. So you can see this is a snowy terrain. As I said, I guess to the south, uh, it goes right in the desert, which I think is kind of funny. Cows on ice. Anybody wanted to see cows on ice? Let's see if I can push this cow. Wee. There we go. So here's a, a village over here, which I uh, haven't didn't see before in my previous game. Actually, this is kind of where I found some of the sheep, although I have captured some. I still haven't found any chickens yet, so maybe I'll go looking for chickens. So it's like right across here. I should probably uh, build a bridge or something like that. So as you can see, the sun's going down. So the villagers go out about during the day, and then they go inside at night. So these are villagers, and you can trade with them. So for example, they'll give you emeralds in exchange for goods, and then they'll give you goods in exchange for emeralds. And each villager will give you something different. Uh, there is some overlap, and some have better prices than others. Uh, there was a guy in a lab coat around here, which I didn't, I haven't seen recently, but he's in this one house with like a crafting table and all these books, so he's around here somewhere. For example, you can give them wheat and get emeralds. Uh, I think that's how I got the one I have. And when it gets dark, they all go inside. So then the zombies come out. So I think I'll be spending the night here. Uh, but here that you see the crops, the wheat, and then I think the carrots and stuff like that. So, that's where I got some of them. So, you'll see them all go inside when it gets dark out, which is kind of neat. And actually, some of these houses were, the doors didn't go anywhere. So, the, door. uh, the doors didn't go anywhere, so uh, they were trapped inside. So, I actually placed some blocks to uh, allow them to get out. So, that's pretty much it. I better eat something. So these are baked potatoes, very nice. Let's see what else do I have in my inventory. E for inventory. I have some watermelon. I don't think I've ever tried that. There you go. Now I shall defend the villagers with my clippers here. So it gets, it's pretty dark in here. I should bring some torches up here sometime to uh, light the place up a bit. So all the villagers are programmed to go inside when it gets dark and you can kind of look into other houses and see other villagers. Um, they kind of stay here until the morning, which is uh, pretty interesting. Um, 
So anyway, that's the, my current progress. I know this isn't terribly interesting to a lot of people, so I just kind of play this on my spare time. So I'll occasionally post a video with progress, but if there's anything anybody would like to see, you know, just let me know. Thank you very much.